comment section that Wumi is in court? Yes. Is at the inquest? Yes, yes I Wumi. think someone said they told them to come, right? Um, yes. Wumi of course. Uh, you know, um, I don't know what's going to happen, but what is, you should be expecting today at the inquest is that today is going to be a battle, you know? Um, the, um, the, uh, the lead council will be there. And then we're going to, we are going with our personal, um, private, um, autopsy. I mean, um, pathology is going to be there. We're going to mm -hmm. have a debate regarding to the inconclusive result that came to read out to us. So we are coming with our own private, um, pathologist to interpret. And then we have a debate on some, um, discrepancies in those, um, it's, so about, a it's about time. Yeah. Yeah. So. That is why and I let I heard I I learned that um <clears throat> um the the lawyer the council the council of um the late council of uh, Wumi is a legal team of Wumi uh, they advised Mama Mubad and Wumi to be present at the court as well because they felt that. Baba Mubad is claiming that he's a champion. He has never missed. Uh, he's the only one looking for justice from Mubad, and then that um, he has never missed the corona, so he advised them too, especially Mama Mubad, to be present at the corona inquiry. Yeah, isn't like, it true? Baba Mubad is the only one looking for justice. Are the yes. others looking for justice? No, yes. they're know, not. So now they said that the public are saying that it's like Baba Mubad is the only one looking for justice. This so is their money. So, this so is their money. At least out exactly. of three corona inquests, they are just attending one. Apart from the day that they went there to go and, to go and say they are rubbish words. So this is their own money. Yeah, so that's what's going on right now. Uh, so, okay, um, well, I'm glad yeah. they're there. So let them come yeah. and tell us if they're actually yeah, fighting about, for justice exactly. for mobile. So like we have about 200 people watching us right now. And I will try to repeat what I just said before in case you missed. Today is going to be a corona inquest. We're going to be talking about um, the pathologies. Um, they're going to be a lot of debates regarding to the inconclusive result that they came right to us that when they... Um, um, the previous corona inquest. I came in, they were going to be coming in with their own personal um, pathologies that we're going to debate with uh, the state pathologies regarding to the result that of the inconclusive result that was given out to us. And immediately after the inquest, the immediately after the inquest, we're going to be having the press conference. Sorry, we, we didn't let the public know about this. We had the reason why we didn't let the public know about this. There's been a lot of people walking behind the scenes to make sure that this press conference come into reality. And um, like I said, today we're going to be here. We're going to be taking a lot of um, um, question and answers. If you have any questions you want to go through to, you want them to answer. Um, okay, let me bring it this way. There's going to be a press conference today. Immediately after Corona inquest, 3 p.m. time. That was the time. Hey, we were there. Mom, please, I have something to say. Please, before I forget, please. Please, right, okay, please can you tell Baba that Baba should be saying Mubad died on uh, 11. It's not on 12. Because in Doro interview, Doro said Mubad died on 11. Because uh, Mubad and Doro, that they wanted to do one album together. Not until he, he heard that uh, Mubad died Zoro, on 11. It's Zoro, it's Zoro. Not uh, Zoro. Uh, Zoro, Doro, that one in. <laughs> so please help me to tell Baba that Baba should change the world. And Baba should tell Baba should tell the whole world that they should ask Wumi why Wumi did not call why Wumi did not call him on the eleven to tell him that his son has already died. Then why is Wumi calling on twelve? So Baba should change the date. Uh, uh, good protection. I think what Baba was trying the mistake Baba was trying to say is that he was called on the twelfth. Do you understand? That is the narrative that you know that's what happened he was caught but the interview is out there baba she said he was called on 12 but yeah. one of his friends that they wanted to make an album together he let them know that the guy said Baba dead on 11th yeah. Yeah, yeah, so baba yeah, yes, yes. that is why we have corona inquest pull up the fact see corona inquest is all about evidence you have to come up with a table your evidence and then they will talk about it now that's why we have the corona inquest but you know we haven't gotten the fact yet. Yes, the guy said that. You can also say that that's just an essay. We need concrete evidence for us to know. So Baba is just talking based on how he got involved. Baba got involved in this thing on the 12th. So let us just base, let us go with the flow of that 12th on the, well, until we have concrete evidence to show that maybe Mobile died on the 11th. 
You know, we can't just come and start saying he died in 11 when we have the concrete evidence. That's why we have corona inquest for horse to his fat findings. You know, yes, I've seen the, I have the video of that man interview, you know, saying he died on the 12th. I mean, on the on 11th. But what can we use to substantiate that he actually died on the 11th? All right. That is why we have, we have no proof. We have no evidence to throw our fact out. Then how are we going to do yes, that? Yes, my boss said it three times. Three times. I boss said they said it. I boss said they are lamala. You know her? Do you know her? That was a woman. Yes. She said it three times. Yes. <laughs> That's why we have corona inquest. The lawyers are there. They know. They are aware of all these things. But we, they have to be fact findings. Okay. That's how they are doing the private. Event. Okay. For those that say that we don't have, it, we have private invest, investigate. Um, I am PI. We have PI. Are the same. We need facts. We need evidence. Evidence is not going to come and knock on your door. You have to just go out there and go seek for evidences, and that's what they should. They are doing. You know that's why we have press conference. So we're going to have to throw all these questions to them at the press conference as well. Your question is noted, please. Good morning, everybody. Bossman, um, is any of the suspects going to talk today? Are they going to? What do they call it? Are they going I, to access? But the main call of this corona inquest of is going to be a debate of the toxicology, the inconclusive. That's the main goal today at this corona inquest. So if anyone's going to talk, I don't know. The next person that I'm even wishing that they bring to the corona inquest is the nurse. I want to hear from that nurse. Why are they protecting that nurse? They need to bring the nurse back to the corona inquest. And that's just the way it is. So, yeah. The inquest is just okay, about okay. Technology. Boss man, uh, are they not going to are they not going to charge all of them to court? Are they not still going to investigate what all of them have said in the court and charge charge them to um said at the inquest, then they will charge them to court. Is it that after this corona inquest they will not do another one? Mr. Lagata, that question is to you please. Um come again, say my to me. I said, won't that won't they investigate everything that all of them said at the inquest and charge people that are that 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 are guilty, or people that have come and lie at the inquest? Would they charge them to court? Is it that today will just be for the toxicology, this thing, and then they will stop the inquest? No, um, you see, the corona inquest is a fact finding court. It is not the main court. This case is still going to high court. Criminal is still going to be, you know, transferred. So, you see, all these things they are doing in Corona Inquest now, it looks like a child's play. The reason why is that Corona Inquest should be three times in a week. Not all this one month, one month, one month thing. Again, it's because the systems are involved. Now, this is the game. Corona Inquest is like you want to catch a bed. I am now putting Jeru and Nakababa around the banquet that we enter. And if you can see that they already enter enough enough, enough Pankwe, according to the according to the uh, CTC um, reports. Even before the corona inquest, there were so many inconsistency from those people that were in the house. At the corona inquest, there's still a lot of inconsistency, lies. So many bullshit in that CTC that was told by Adura, Wumi, DJ Bami, and all of them. So this is the main reason of Corona Inquest. To make you feel like you are in court already, but you are not in court. So it's a reverse psychology thing. They call it in law. That is what the inquest is for. So all the fact findings now, that's why they were able to give that CTC. Everything is being recorded. And after the corona, every corona sitting, all of those people that you see, they will go and sit down separately and digest and note what Mr. A or Mrs. B or Mrs. J have said. They will put it down. You understand? It's not that one that will not transfer to the next court, which is the main court, criminal court, high court. Now that, ah, 
You might say Corona. When we did Corona, this is what Mr. A said. When we did Corona, this is what Mr. B. So everything will now be from there now. They will not. They will now. There will now be jury service there at the crime at the criminal courts. It is those ones now that will now see what we can see as ordinary person now that we can see that there lies. It is when they will now start the full cross examination, and that time is a jungle justice. So they will now have a better understanding. Ah, uh, judge, uh, judge Queen of, this is what what we find out from the corona inquest. Sele, you are welcome, brother. You are cited. So it is when now they will now pass on the main thing that have been said in the corona inquest. Jojo, this is what and what what they said do. Also, also dato. This person said this so. Also, also dato. That person said that to. Also, also deal. This one said that to. So they will now collect all this information and they will pass it on to the main court and the judge will go through the files one by one. What did we say? What did Adura say? What did Kinekon? It will now cross everything and that is when jury will sat there and they will cross examine every single individual to us to know what is happening. And then that is when justice will start knocking at the door. She gets. So yes, Corona inquest, they cannot do anything. They don't they can't jail anybody in Corona inquest. They can't, you know, it's just the fact findings. Um my sister. So in the main court, that questions will be able to be answered. Does that answer your question sent by Tommy? Yes, I understand now. Thank you, my sister. Um, Femtop, Baba, Alpha, you want, what, do you have any questions or do you want to chip in anything? Uh, I'm still listening. Okay, I'm, brother. I'm brother. trying to buy some facts, so before trying my own question. Okay, no okay. problem. Just no problem. Some facts, yes. No problem. My head, my head carry away. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I what I wanted to ask, postman just um, said it. I I wanted to ask, is it not time for us to see the nest? The nest is the architect of all what they're trying to say. So when is the nest coming? That's what I wanted to ask. I don't know if she's gonna be there today because I really I'm really eager to hear what um, she has to say. I don't know. I have this bad feeling that. The, they are trying to hide us nests for what, the reasons I do not know. So I don't have anything. That's all I have. I just I'm just interested. The nurse she needs to speak. The postman answered already. Yes, I think 89 percent of us are waiting for the nurse um, submission and all of that. So. Again, my questions to the legal team today will be what is the position or where and what have they done about the nurse so far? And how is the nurse um how is the nurse so important to this case? So I'll be waiting for a direct answer. That would that'll be my personal open questions then. So the nurse should be provided. The nurse really, if you remember when the nurse parent came out the last time, they said that it wasn't more bad, that the person the nurse treated was a light skinned person and it's not as tall as more bad. You know, so that again is a sign of um is a sign of um inconsistency that um that uh, that's been flying around, you know. But um yeah, Mr. Lagata, I, um, you see, there's a lot of things. It's actually good that we're having a press conference today. Yeah, all right. This is a good thing. Like I said, that's why we have this platform here. Is there any questions? If you have any grievances towards, you think, um, 
Mr. Miwa, the legal team, they're not doing anything, and you have one or two questions to ask, feel free to come up here. Yeah, let's have a conversation just like what we have right now. Now, do you know what I'm actually looking for? I'm hoping that I'm actually praying for the legal team to, um, I'm waiting for the day they indict the police. Number one, and I will say it here openly, the police that refuse to allow Baba Mubad into the station by not allowing him to write um, the police report. They heard that they had the ambulance and the body of Mubad was in there and they did not even pay any attention to go see the cops of Mubad. And they refused Baba Mubad to do um, to write a police report. And they did Baba, on behalf of Baba Mubad, the, the, that station and everyone on that duty need to be sued. That particular station need to be sued. And again, uh, another indictment with the state government for not, after the assumption of Mubad, um, they were supposed to call the Alobas family and, and, and tell them to bring the private to, um, um, pathologists to witness or to supervise the um, operation or, or when they were taking a specimen of mobile. But because of this death, devilish job they want to do, because of this inconclusive result they want to bring out, they did not tell Baba or the family of Baloba to come with their own pathologies, at least, especially to witness whatever they want to do. If they are cutting the right thing or not doing the right thing, there should be someone that is learned on that particular profession to be there to witness all those things. If we, if at the beginning they have done the right thing, they perhaps we're about to bring these own pathologies or to see, to, to witness whatever they did. We won't be going to a hall, these things that we're going to, you know? So the, that's an indictment on the government, you know? It's called, there's no lack, there's no transparency in that regard. And they should be petitioned on that as well. There are so many loopholes. I'm expecting the SAN, the legal scene, uh, the leader of council, San Shitu, to look at all these little mistakes that they've done on this case of Joseph Mubarak and they need to indict the government of Lagos State. Anybody suable, sue every one of them. I'm expecting the lead, um, lead council to sue everybody in the house of Mubad as well. The wife, the, uh, the nurse, especially the nurse, even the lawyer that was in that house. The lawyer in the house should be sued for, and what should we be sued for? He was in the house as a learned person, a lawyer for that matter. You were there. You saw how they put down the lead Mubad in state in his house, and you did not advise them to go to get a police report. It took three hours or four, no, five hours after the pie of Mobad. But Mobad have to come around 10 30 p.m. for him to for him to throw the advice that they should take the Mobad to the police station. And they will have a learned person there, a lawyer. Did not do that. So in need to they need to investigate his qualification, his um, profession, and, and they need, he need to he need to be sued. So let the suit let it flow. That's what I think I'm expecting them to do right now. Yeah. So, yeah. You the know, I'm expecting that. The boss man. Okay. You really speak my mind. Like, you see my mind and then you say it out. And, <laughs> you know, I, I would never, I would never in one single day, you see, talk about the police, talk about the state government, and say that the type of the system that we use in that country is balanced. I will never say that for one single day. And these are facts. You know, the more they are trying to say that they have done a clean job, the more they are saying that they are clever, the more they are giving us more loopholes for us to see a lot of mistake and a lot of things that they've done wrongly, especially about 
this Mobad case. And I can tell you, not the league team. I'm, I'm not with them. I've never been with them. I've never talked with them. But I know in one way or the other, let me, as is an assumption, let me assume, let me assume that they are aware of all these things. And let me as well assume that they are keeping all these things until when the main court section started. The reason why I'm saying that is this. If they are bringing this into Corona inquest, because there is still more of like a police system of a thing that, is, that they are still doing, it's still within the jurisdiction of police more of like, right? And when they are bringing it to them that see the shit that you have, Nigerian police know how to manipulate things. They can completely say the police station get burned and there is no file anywhere. Nobody to do anything. All the people in that police station has been moved or transferred to any other place. What will we say? So, and please, before I forget this line of thought, uh, before I drop the other time, I want to make mention of this. See, we should not forget the position of strat strategy about this justice from our part. Until when the position of strategy is being identified as yes, this is the place whereby um, a learned or knowledgeable people who understand how a case like this can be can, can be treated, who understand and, or have a deep knowledge on how to do um, uh, a lot of uh, homicide cases like this, sit down, have a strategy to be used in identifying and then in bringing things or bringing peoples into book. Until when we are able to identify those things, then we'll be able to know how to go about the justice for Mobad. You see, I make mention of something before. I said, subjection, ideas, opinion, they can be seen as advice, but they are different. When everybody bring their own opinion, these people will sit down on it, which one is to be considered, which one is to be treated strictly by an offensive, in an offensive way, not in an aggression way. When they see all these things, then we we'll know that even coming to public, we are not going to be offensive. We are not going to be in a defensive side. We we'll stay as close as it is possible with our information. So if the legal team are up to their games, which I'm which you know, I can see that they are up to now. I will say that with the way everything is playing out now, there are a lot of things that they may not be able to play out in the corona inquest. That until when we get to the real court, then we'll be able to say, okay, according to this, this happened. According to this, this happened. According to police report, this happened. According to legal state, this happened. So by the time you are bringing those facts, see, no matter how bad the constitution or the, no matter how corrupt the rules of justice may be in any country or in anywhere, there will still be a place of a fair plea Either you talk about the customary, you talk about criminal courts, you talk about any court so far in any country, there will still be a place of a fair play. So, you know, I have this strong belief that there are a lot of things that are yet to unsay. There are a lot of, of things that are yet to be to to be to 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 to, to, to be heard about justice for Mobad. So that is 
uh, one thing. And then secondly, you see, as today's court is concerned, is a continuation of what we've heard the last time, which is about inconclusive, autopsy, all the stuff. Right. Now, if Bosman, if you can remember very well, I do say this. I said, see, if we want to challenge a report, we should have our own fact. We should, as the science is concerned, as the science is concerned, if we are proving a theory, or if we have proven a theory, and someone is coming up like, no, this theory that you have come up with is wrong or is incorrect, then that same person must have undergo that type of examination or that type of using the same specimen or the same material to come up with his own fact findings and come to the public and say that these are things that I've discovered, these are things that, I, that I've seen, and I've said it, uh, and I'm saying that it's not right based on this and based on that. Now, no matter the type of professional about maybe toxicologians or the autopsians that is in the court today, I can tell you for real that there will still be some doubts that what makes it not real what makes it for you to have come to the public and say that this result is wrong i don't know if you get my point so we that's the reason why we need a place where maybe a suit or a petition or a request for a private autopsy have to be done so until when we have our own private autopsy then we will know the fight or the cause that we want to get about inconclusive reports or results or autopsy results but without that it's still a little bit of like 50 50 chance to me that's what i think it may play out with when when, when legal state may come up with their own defensive side of this story, the place where they did, the autopsy, the da 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 da, all the stuff. But let me say this: I I don't want to put out some some strategy out. But at the same time, you see, this autopsy report that they have given so far, it gives us higher chances of having our own private investigator to step in giving us more chances of doing both autopsy and f autopsy f um, forensic um forensic um a different type of forensic um test on this as well it give a lot of loopholes on even investigating those who are inside our house so until when we are able to have this private of investigator aha uh -huh. things will come to play in the right way more than we expect or more than what we are doing for now yeah